Okay, this is Water's Edge, Port Orange, Florida. This is a short sale. It's a four bedroom. And let's see what you get for a short sale. Some short sales are great and some are bad. And typically this is what we've been finding with the short sales. All the flooring's been ripped up, which means you cannot get a mortgage on it. You have to have flooring and a stove to get a mortgage on a, on a home. Here's one of the bedrooms. Closet doors are broken off of it. There's a hole in the wall over there. And, th and this is pretty typical right now. This is what's going on in, in a lot of the short sales. Electrical has been opened up and some things have been removed. As you notice, the ceiling fans and all the lights have been removed. There's no electric or water in here. It was a nice house and it could be a nice house again for an investor or a cash buyer. As of right now, the AC and hot water tank and stuff is still here, but the homeowner can still come in here and remove it later. They still own the house as of right now. Nice little bathroom. The rooms are pretty dark right now because they pull all the shades. They put curt they put sheets on the on the walls and the, over the windows, so you can't see in. The reason why they don't want you to see in because they don't want the bank to be able to come by and see that basically they've destroyed the place and have stolen thousands of dollars from this place that the bank actually owns. There's a water leak here. I don't know if they were trying to remove something around the sink, but that leak is from the outside in. Nice size master. Walk-in closets. And see, that's what I'm talking about, where they take a sheet and put over the windows. I lifted them up so that we can see in here. Those are damaged spots in the wall. And then we gotta come out here. It's nice out here. It's getting ready to rain. Uh, pool area is really nice, great view. They will come back and get these fans, I'm sure, if they work. They pretty much take anything that's of any value out of the home that they can sell or put in their new home. But usually they just go and say, well, guys, if you know anybody that needs a ceiling fan or whatever, just go ahead and go over. Here's the keys. And that keeps happening until the bank forecloses or somebody buys it in a short sale. And the, the bad part about that is that the people that buy it in a short sale typically don't go and, and change the locks out. And 20 other people have keys to the home so they can actually come into the home later and remove stuff then too. So rule of thumb, if you buy a short sale or a bank, change the locks. And we'll end like I always end with the kitchen. 
This house is 225,000. The bank will want more. They don't care if it's damaged. Uh, the bank will probably come back at about 280. Uh, home right down the street from here is selling for 280. Uh, it's under contract already, but it doesn't look like this. Um, so let us know if you if you're looking for a short sale or foreclosure. We know how to get you through it. Uh, you will have to be an all cash buyer and no mortgages and be very patient. And we will talk to you later.